Knowing them, they shouldn't have any issue. No, I don't think so. Okay, just leave it there. Already seeing quite a bit of curl there, tucking that corner guard not into the rings. I think it would have been if it was in the center there. But uh, both teams really going at it at the, in the first end. Yes, they're, they're playing aggressive in the first end. Feeling confident knowing the ice, yeah. having had those three games yeah. each. For sure. Yeah. No, wait. Go, 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 go. Good shot. Nice shot. Yeah. Especially at the level that these guys play, uh, it can be a little bit formula, formula, formulaic uh, <laughs> on the first couple shots. Uh, but with the five rock rule now, uh, they're electing to get rid of those rocks on the center line. Those are pretty well set up, don't you think? Oh, yeah, for sure. Great. And if you're going to miss, that's probably the way to miss. Definitely. It didn't end up in a bad spot. And by the looks of things, it looks like he's going to have another try at that one. Just trying to drag it over there to get in front of those other rocks. Mm -hmm. Leaving it about, I'd say, a little bit more than half open there. Don't need to make Giving that. Joel the opportunity to move those red ones in the center around. there by Joel hitting and rolling across and they're just going to try to hit and roll back put it back where it was they are electing to take the intern here we have seen a lot of krill on the center line so far this week this could uh, I, although I haven't been on this sheet. I haven't seen this. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a lot of curl, though, in this spot. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yep, we're already see start seeing it starting to come across there. Yes, hitting and rolling out there and not removing that yellow stone. Still sitting the one, though, and the, the center guard is still up. The way that these guys play, the, that could be enough to generate uh, the force there. But uh, Grattan is definitely in control here as Joel tries to hit and roll behind those corners that uh, are a big jum jumble of rocks over on that right-hand side or as our viewers see on the left-hand side. <laughs> Close. Nice shot. That looks good to me from down here. Very nicely done. That's not an easy shot uh, with how much that uh, needs to roll there, right? Eh? Not one bit. <laughs> Oh! 
Seen quite a bit of weight here. They look like they're playing the double. They must be with this kind of weight. Especially with that ice. Oh. Nope, sticking it. A lot of weight just for nose. Now Joel has the same type of shot here, just making a, another in turn hit and roll here. Do you think that they want to f fully bury there on this roll here? I feel like they'd have to. Oh, curl just a bit. Just a bit. <laughs> and I think that they're going to try this double again of uh, pretty flat, all things being equal. But he... Not Their third, uh, Jean Michel, uh, threw a bullet. Hopefully, Skipper here can uh, get, and can throw a one as well. Oh, and that's not what they called, but that's a pretty good result there. Works out either way. It does work out either way. But that rolled almost perfectly. Yeah, I can't. From sitting behind the hack, I can't see much of that red one. No. And my French isn't great, but I see some confused faces, and so I think that that spot uh, wasn't quite reacting how they wanted it to, with that extra bit of curl and just coming across. It's a great shot, but I, that's uh, still figuring the ice out a little bit. Yours, yours took a while, but it went. Ooh, just ticking that guard there. Rolling into those one on the side. Or no, just passed it. Just missed it, rolled out. Looks like the force could be on here for Team Arsenal. It's looking like it. They're making sure to not give uh, James Grattan a double there now themselves. That similar good double that they had before. Taking lots of ice here, trusting that the is going to curl and finish into the side here. Probably saw the those corner guards that were played and matching that ice, trying to get a, it around and make it. I do believe that they settled on dead even as opposed to be perfectly frozen to not have that double being available. Yeah, it seems to be curling a bit more out this way. 
Yeah, in so. a bit of a give it to your sweeper situation. Definitely. Let them place it. It's close. I would nice say shot. that's a very nice shot. Pretty much right where they wanted it. Yeah, it, there was some discussion there of figuring out for your gut instinct says freeze, but after doing the calculations, putting it just that little bit higher ends up being that better place. Yeah. Leaves out the double then. Yeah, and you get your force in the first end. A great way to start for here for Team Arsenal. Definitely. They all hit that line and go, I think. They right? did draw to the forefoot but in their draw to the button, but it wasn't enough because Team, uh, <laughs> team Grattan was uh, quite a bit closer, uh, biting the top of the pin there. Yep. Yep. Joel trying to hold it here, trying to stick around to get their one. Does a good job of just keeping it straight there to get out of that end with their single point. And on to the second end we go. And after that uh, pretty basic end there, we have Team Graden 1, Arsenal 0. We'll see if we get a couple more rocks in play here as, as we come back. Should pick up the next couple of ends. And as we enter into the second end, uh, we'll be introducing some some pieces about the teams. And so this is normally the, the second on Team Gr Grattan. Uh, this is Paul Dobson. Uh, and uh, him and James have been curling a long time together. Joel's a relatively new guy on the team, and he's half of their ages. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, they're curling out of the Gage Curling Association. And uh, Paul is, works for Irving Paper there in New Brunswick. Just trying to get this in a good position at the beginning, slipping a little bit deep. Quite a bit deep, actually, into the back of the eight foot. I think you were going to see a corner guard regardless there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, always a little bit nice when uh, the pressure is not quite as on as it was before. And from Team Arsenault, they're curling out of the Etchemin. Etchemin? Sure. <laughs> yeah, curling club in Quebec. Uh, this is a Philly Broussard. And he's a man manager at uh, Revenue Quebec. Got to keep the, the money flowing in there. And a very nice corner guard put up there. That's pretty much where you want it in these sorts of games. Can't get much better than that. It seems boring and it seems like you're just doing the same thing at lead, but being able to do the same thing and put those corner guards up and have them be in the right place. It's hard. It's hard. Good line. Good line. Halfway. Okay, got a curl. Line's fine, though. I got it. And a nice adjustment here with this guard. Would have liked it to come and touch the center. This doesn't bring the, the tick rule into play. But uh, James was also between two shots there of cutting off that corner guard was option, his first instinct, but deciding to go to, with the center guard instead. And now Arsenal's team is forced to come around the on this intern side. They might crash. Oh, that's good because it wasn't on the <laughs> <laughs> center line. Uh, being two inches off ended up being a, a good thing for Team Arsenault there. But uh, they've also cut them out. Uh, the, 
cut off the path behind that corner guard that they threw on there first. That might come and bite them later in the end. Yes. There are holes in between all three of those rocks, but uh, Not really. I, wouldn't, I really wouldn't want to play one of them, and the other one <laughs> probably isn't a picnic either. Yeah, they're not really easy holes to come through. Mine's good! Mine's good! Much different line here by Team Grattan. Going way far out and letting it carve back in. And probably a little bit better weight here too. I think that that other one was just that little bit light. This one was a little bit light too, but uh, they went out on a much wider path there. Do you think we're going to see some rocks in play now that those guards aren't quite right where they want them? Oh, no, no. Here comes the peel. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided no more of the, these, these, uh, these guards are in the way. I kind of saw that coming. I thought it was going to happen, but then he, th he started looking at the draw of being like, I think I could get one in there. That curled a ton for that amount of weight. Wow. Did it ever. And so even though they double, that's more like a single peel of leaving that guard up in front. James is going to play the... We've got Joel coming around all of that... Uh, that center guard trying to get into that top four foot area, top Looks eight hot. foot level. Looks hot. Joel's the recent addition to this player, the import from Nova Scotia. Uh, he's working for Goldline. Nice place to work when you're a curler. Not bad. Though I do see a lot of balance plus out there, so <laughs> I'm going to have to have some conversations, I think. And this is Jesse Mullen on Team Arsenal here. Also works for Revenue, or works for Revenue Canada, not Revenue Quebec. And customer service, helping out everyone with their taxes. Fun stuff. I'm sure it's riveting. <laughs> Really catching that curl. They've had quite a few over curl thus far uh, in this end. Maybe just not quite in adjusting to the sheet today. Yeah, there seems to be quite a bit of curl on the sheet today. Unless you think you can get it. With Joel slipping behind the tee line there, it's a little bit, a little bit trepidatious. A little bit of uh, not a hundred percent liking that. No, it didn't end in a great spot for. Them. Yeah, I like that call there of the best the best guard here is one in the house and frozen to a red rock. Definitely. That looks like more. It does look like more. <laughs> I would very much so agree with that. Quite a bit more. <laughs> it's also uh, somehow not finding the curl that we've been talking about so far. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Yeah, and just ticking off there into the back. And you don't have the hammer having your rocks behind the T-line tends not to be the greatest. No. Not really in your favor. And here we have upcoming uh, is Arsenault, or Jean-Michel Arsenault himself. Uh, he does skip the team, calls the game, allowing uh, uh, just having his third. Uh, that's better. Yeah. It, and so he is uh, originally from Quebec City, doing autom automation technician. Fit, 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 fit. 
trying to find the curl here. Just based off of my very limited perspective thus far, it seems like there is a little bit of a, a spot where the curl starts, probably two and a half feet off the center line there. Yeah. And it might even be a little bit faster outside of that spot as well, of when it catches that curl, it seems to be slowing down quite substantially. We saw some be quite a bit light, and all of those ones sitting in the back of the rings were out farther and caught the curl later and just sort of glided on them. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah, it's definitely a little bit quicker on the, out, on the outside. Line's good. Line's good. Let it work. Joel just trying to ease up on that weight, yep. getting yep. Hard. Gotta go. in toward, right on top of that one. That's looking up like a pretty great shot thus far. Ah, but uh, that shot that James in, had indicated uh, of Arsenal playing off of his own and a little deeper, he might get both. And this way chipping it off of his own and rolling behind those corner guards is available. Nice. nice shot. As a longtime front end player, my experience if is the skip doesn't know what to call, you're probably going to make it. <laughs> if there's some confusion, you're probably very close. Definitely. And now that one in the back of the forefoot is, or in the back of the button almost, is, is the one counting. So Arsenal still does have some work to do to get some points here. But uh, it's also yeah. looking a little bit lonely back there. Yes, there's a lot of red surrounding it. Yes, with red sitting two, three, and I think four. No, not four. Uh, two and three. Uh, if Arsenal is ever able to remove that yellow, Cleanly, it could be a pile. That, that's a little less, probably. Maybe a little less, because we're getting by by the on the G, right? And I'm throwing less weight, so I'm thinking here somewhere. I want to bite the center line, right here. Some good communication there between. James and uh, the second playing lead to Paul. <laughs> uh, uh, holding the broom, a little bit confusing. All three positions in one there. Of where exactly to put it that far out with uh, the amount of curl that everyone's been seeing and the, that big swing. Just making sure to communicate and have everyone be on the same page. I think I can get a round on, on, on the line. Got a curl. Yeah, they need to, if, with this guard, they need to actually tuck it around that to prevent the easier of the run backs. Needs to curl quite a bit here. Uh, we might have another freeze guard, which actually isn't too bad either. Well, it's not a bad spot. There are options, they just are all not easy. <laughs> And up throwing, we have the, the third throwing last, uh, Julian Tremblay. 
originally from Ramuski and is a PE teacher. I like this run back to score one, but I think that they might have a rough time getting the multiple. I think that things just jam in an unfortunate situation of if you get one, you're probably not getting a couple of other ones. No, I can't see how they could get more than one with this shot. Oh, two rocks to come. My mistake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing the clear shot right now so that we have an option on the next one. There we go. Very nice. Nice shot. Great shot. Well, that changes the end a bit. <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> I did not think that those that's where the rocks would go if they hit it like that, but... Uh, no, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Sitting three, all behind, mostly all behind cover. The same weight, less ice. Behind the corner guards. Yeah, we can't do this. No, no. Oh, well. Or we run it. Probably still gives. Well, I guess if I make that double, or I make that, probably gives up two. Probably that, eh? Make the make two go away. We're pretty good. Huh? Yeah. We probably can get lucky there too. You know, if it, if it crosses it. Yeah, looking at the run back double here, there are a lot of different ways to make it, and I think that there might even be a way to get the triple. Very, don't overcook it. So we miss like that. Very challenging. Like, because if I hammer it into here, I could get lucky doing some stuff. Okay. Yeah, and the run back and roll in. If he can hit, sit second shot. I could probably here. There as well. Is there some curl here? You yeah, think? that wouldn't be bad either. Yeah. I think this is easier than that draw. At least get rid of, do some damage here. You think it's gonna bend here? Like it's a little different today, right? With the backswing. Yeah. Right on the beaker, a little high, or a little low, I should say. Yeah, high is bad. Definitely. Don't want to hit it high. High brings a four or a five into play. Don't see that very much anymore. No. The big swing back. Whoa! And it is a little high from my side. Good enough. Nice shot. Nice shot. That's what you play this skipper of the big bucks for. I don't see any shot for anything more than two, so great way to get out of that end there. Except the great shot by uh, Julian there and respond in kind. Good shot there by Julian to get there too. 
exactly what they wanted to do. Would have liked to have three after that beauty shot, but uh, we'll take they'll take the two there. And well, we got a little bit of a break here in the action here. Take a look at the other sheets. Over on sheet one, the second end just finished up, uh, and Team Leducer took three over Adams Moss to go up three to nothing. Over on sheet one, they're just or uh, sheet two. They are just finishing up the second end, but uh, the first end was a blank. And then over on sheet four, second end is just finishing up. Uh, Felix Oslin is up two over, took two in the first over Team Champ. Still some rocks to come on both those sheets, but we'll keep you updated. You can tune in over to the Ha and Grandy game on the other stream, hosted by Stu himself. What do you think we're going to see in this end, Emily? Kind of hard to tell with the roller coaster of the last end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, some momentum changes. <laughs> Ooh, this one ended up pretty high. But critically, as we learned earlier on the center line, can't go anywhere now for at least a little bit. Never good when the sweeper doesn't finish following it. <laughs> I'm just going to stop. <laughs> and slipping into the house was not what they wanted there. Allows Team Arsenault to come in with this hit and roll. Some nose there, but and also leaving it as a as a guard. Now James probably there doesn't like the one. color, but is happy that there there is that corner guard. And a very similar shot here as his first. Could probably throw about the same weight and having a little bit of sweeping and pulling it behind that corner guard that just ended up coming because there was not the the roll coming all across Line's fine Line's good Line's good Line's real good just wherever you want it Okay At the end maybe Yep Yep get some separation there. He's, he's no and because that one is a red one, he can run, uh, take out his own rocks and run back this red one into the yellow. Not too difficult. Only s a little less than six feet here. And they just saw it too. That's good, but they would have liked to stay around. Just trying to come around here. 
James is indicating oh, really having it come to the top of the 12 foot, which is something that I like definitely when they, you have the hammer with the five oh, rock oh, rule. It need to curl. Straight always. And just, just the way that the other team is hitting, it's a little bit higher. That's a beauty. Just almost cuts off the draws for the other team, making them have to go out wider or come around that one in the top 12 themselves or forces this run back because it's so high it's got to be very precise itself yeah it's not not as easy as they might make it look and it's right on the center line and the center line has been acting just a little bit uh, sensitive even with the amount of weight and it's close but uh, just hitting and rolling over to the side there Seems like both teams are okay with being a little bit conservative. Especially after Paul put his rock into the into the rings there on his first, allowing a lot of the hitting that's already happening. Mine's good. Mine's real good. Mine's really good. Make it to you. Back to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. T-line, T-line, though. Good shoot, Paul. There, another nice shot by Joel there. That's exactly where James called it. It's a very long game when you're only a team of three and one sweeper <laughs> yeah. for the sweeper. You only have to sweep in five rocks, but those five rocks feel like <laughs> everything. Can't take any rocks off either. <laughs> Especially with the new sweeping, uh, with the directional sweeping. Yes. You can really take rocks off now, <laughs> but not if you're just the only guy. <laughs> Trying for the double here. Or no, the hit and roll. They were looking at the double. I think they went for the hit and roll. And just a hit and stick instead. And it is second shot, so uh, James can get quite a little bit aggressive here and come around again at that corner guard up there. Being nose frozen to his own, or maybe even just a hair high side would be a great place. Really want to be second shot here with this stone. Wait on late! Straight of anything! Straight! Straight! Oh, 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 at least it's up there. Yep. And a nice shot there. Really nice shot. Oh, not, didn't quite get second shot okay. there. You know, it looked like it just came up ha about half an inch too short. I don't think it's going to matter with uh, now that uh, Team Arsenal is looking hard at this run back. And as he comes down the ice, we do have an update on sheet two of Team Ha took two in the second end to go up two to nothing over Team Grandy from BC. And uh, the second end is done on sheet four, but the score has not gone up yet. <laughs> Just a little bit low there. Let's leave them open now. It is open, but I, I actually saw it. Yeah, with it yeah. being in third shot, hitting that red one and eliminating it and rolling behind that guard seems like a natural place. I also kind of like the, the wide draw coming around that one and just having 
another one in behind there. Yeah, you can always worry about that red one in a shot or two. Yeah. But they're t choosing to say, hey, I don't like that one. It's second oh. shot. Let's deal with it right now yep. while it's open and available. Oh. 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 And hitting and rolling, but not quite enough to get behind the just off center guard. We've seen some great curling so far this week, haven't we, Emily? A lot of great curling. Hard to believe that the round robin is going to be done at the end of uh, these games right now. Yes, went by fast. And uh, I hope that everyone has been enjoying at home. And if you are in the Halifax area, we have lots of exciting events coming uh, tonight. I can already hear the band playing. <laughs> And I do believe that there's a DJ later and some drink specials on behalf of Prince Edward Island Blue and Company. We'll talk more about them later. And uh, so it's going to be a party, going to be fun. Come on down. And the quarterfinals will be on at 8 o'clock Atlantic time. Some of them will be determined by the games happening right now, I believe. And uh, then tomorrow we have the semifinals and the finals of to determine who's who's winning the big cash and all the games from here on out are if we win we earn more money if we lose we're going home <laughs> or it might be going to the party yeah but, <laughs> uh, but uh, all of these games are now important Close. I'm, I'm not I'm just not sure it matters but I can't I could guard it and after that uh, Hit on the side there. The red one. Hit that. It looks from our angle to be second shot, but they don't seem to be super. Oh, now they're getting more concerned about it. <laughs> might leave them that, but no hit might be even good. Yeah. James is really thinking about how do I get three, and how do I not screw up this two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one's more important to him, but uh, he's kind of gone back and forth between those two so thus far. He knows that the other guys can hit, that we've seen them hit so far. You don't want to roll too far on this shot, too far over to your other yellow. Yeah, I think that that would be setting up a, a very natural double there. Yeah. Actually, if I know that we're pretty even, he's got to hit it. Yeah. Are they going for the hit and stick? I think that that's what they settled on there. To be, to be honest, I think he's going to take the simple double. Right? And rolling right in gives him a triple for sure. Yeah, so yeah. that just confirms it if nosing see, is the better better option here. Because rolling gives us the triple. Well, yes, yes. 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 And we're rolling quite a bit here actually. I'd probably yeah, keep on going. Put it out on the side. That is the best shot. No, it, it did end up in a bad spot. Yeah, no, if you're going to be rolling, you might as well roll far. <laughs> I think I heard James say that might be the best shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of, <laughs> leaving it there was the easy shot, but rolling that long way ends up being pretty good. Makes it the safer shot for sure.
That's probably good. I'm off that one, aren't I? Yeah. And it rolled to be third shot there, so James now has the, the draw to bite the eight foot for a three spot here. Seeing lots of momentum swings too, aren't we? Quite a few, yes. The last end one there. Makes for an oh, interesting God, game. Yes, yeah, so it really only can take one shot of a really good one or a just not quite so hot one uh, to really change the, the nature of what's going on that end. Definitely. Mine's good. Joel seems not too, too concerned about it. Just a little scrub as it comes in here. Just helping it in. Oh, he's got it. Good practice for later, too. True. Getting three. Going up four to two after three ends for Team Gradden over Team Arsenault. We got a quick update. No change in the score, but the third end was a blank on sheet one. And so... Team Leducer is up three to nothing still over Adams Moss. And no update on sheet four. I do know that someone scored in the <laughs> second end. Uh, but they're quite deep into the third. Haven't seen anything go up yet. <laughs> and now with a, a bit of momentum on their side of getting that three, having, uh, having Paul Look at coming into the house on purpose this time. <laughs> Mine's good. Want me to take it? Nice draw. Yep, coming, just biting the top of the forefoot. <clears throat> yeah, being down to, uh, I'm gonna put up the corner guards here. Trying to take the play away from the center. Hello, ball. And another very well placed corner guard. Easy to see from this end. <laughs> this is a bit of a conservative call, playing the freeze instead of the guard. I think playing this, the, the, the scoreboard just a little bit here. Way out there! Really got a curl! Really yeah, got a this curl! This is quite a bit farther out than that first one. Yep. It's never straight, good when straight. you hear the skip say, way straight. out there. Ooh, it's close to the guard. What do you think about that spot for a guard? Is it a guard? Yeah? No? I don't know. I can't tell from here. I can't tell if it's biting. It's not a terrible spot. Yeah, if they end up wrapping one around this corner guard, they will have uh, a pretty short angle run back there, or they can follow it. So it does give them some options. Doesn't look to be biting there. Yeah, that looks pretty far off. Very nice come around. Two excellent lead shots. I'd give four out of four on both of those. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll give you a little less. Yeah, and they can afford to overcurl a little bit here and still be protecting their one in the top of the, biting the top of the four there. Nice line. Line's good. Just, no, straight's fine. Straight's fine. Line's good. Yep. Get it to the line. Hey. Not quite covering all of it. But accomplishing a bit of the mission of bringing the play now to the center. I think that that will be a, an advantage to send for Team Graden. Yes, definitely. Oh, and I do see the score finally going up on G4. Team Asselin is up uh, two to one over Team Champ. Team Champ scored one in the second end. And it looks like they're finishing up three as we speak. And they wanted to push that into the back of the house there. I, I think that that's still okay. What do you think, Emily? I don't think that's that bad. Overcurled on them just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of that reduced weight curling a little bit sooner. But now that uh, yellow one is pretty much exactly where you want a rock when you're trying to steal. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yes. Nice shot. That was no gimme. Very nice shot by Joel there. Did leave up the corner. Took away the threat of the, the one on the side. But that could have come into play later. Unlikely with four in the center, but the way these guys, both teams are hitting. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that, this, we've already seen the situation change rapidly a few times. Oh, and because we just updated Cheat 4, we have another update from Cheat 4. Of in the third end, Team Asselin got two. Uh, and so they are up four to one after three ends. Having that great hammer efficiency, two for two. Good place to be after three ends. Definitely some thinking going on here. Uh, how do you get out of this? How do you figure out how you get one? Are they calling the same shot, just a bit more weight? Same shot, but they, they called that they're running the red into the yellow and then the yellow into the back eight foot area. Okay. It's definitely more weight. Yeah, my, my French isn't great, but I do know back line. <laughs> that was definitively back line. <laughs> oh, and though not the shot called, Still kind of got the job done. Got the job done. There is some open area to the left-hand side sticking out. It did pop the yellow open on the other side at least. Yeah, moved it off of that top button position there. that can become challenging. And the, uh, yeah, that's a very natural jam if he's going to come around and try to remove that red one. Yeah. Can't see enough of that, eh? What do you like here? My original thought was to do the run, the short run back on the yellow onto the red, but I mm. don't know if they see enough of it. Yeah, Joel did shut that down yeah. when James asked. I don't think they can see enough of it to actually do anything. Yeah. I, I don't mind the f the, the freeze in that direction, but uh, that corner guard is kind of in the way too. Yeah, it wouldn't... Because it has to curl so much late. I think that it would probably chip that yellow. 
Yeah. Wouldn't be an easy shot. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know if that's Well, as of right now, this is tough to hit. He hit the rolls in there, that's tough. Maybe. I, I think just to limit the damage. Yeah, maybe he'll set it up. Yeah. Just not make, make shots for him. I think that's a good discussion there of playing the easy shot so that the other team is playing the hard shot. If it's a little conservative, but there isn't a clear no. <laughs> shot that's aggressive and good and possible uh, <laughs> uh, over there. So let's just take the easy one, eliminate this red one. I think they'd like to stick around in the back just to make any draws later more challenging. I think this is the best call for them yep. right now. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Please. Yep. 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 Great. Good shot. A quick, a quick update on sheet one there. Uh, Adams Boss drawing for her one in the fourth end. Uh, and score there is three to one for Team Leduser, and they have got the hammer going into the fifth end here. Didn't really want to roll out there. It seemed like a lot of weight to me. It was quite a I don't know if that was the weight they were calling or... It didn't really snap like that. I think that they were trying for it because they got on the sweep early, but it was up and it stayed straight. Yeah, it didn't really move. Oh, and a quick update on sheet two. Lots of updates lately. Uh, and Team Grandy scored one in the third. The score is two to one for Team Ha over Team Grandy. Just starting to play the fourth there. Really got a curl. <laughs> Okay. I got nothing. Hmm. Yikes. Just a time. That was not the way that I was expecting that they were going to score two this end. <laughs> or at least have the potential. I won't speak too <laughs> soon. There's still four rocks to, or five rocks to come. Looks like uh, we got a response here from Team Arsenal that they're playing a lot this year. This is their fourth spiel. Then they have, then they'll be at the Quebec Circuit Final in Sorel. The Desjardins Challenge to Curling. And the Superstore Monctonian Challenge. Uh, and then Provincial. So four down, four to go. Hopefully they uh, are getting ready for that Quebec Quebec Provincial Final there. Or we just keep doing this and giving them two. Nice shot there. Back of the house. Don't want to roll out. All just right. want to keep it in play. Keep your two and keep, and keep them spread out. I think I can get buried on the end. These guys are all kind of like, like, like pop out. Right? They had no business making one. Yeah. And while James is thinking here, as we uh, get about to the midway point in our game today, we would like to always thank our partner sponsors for this Ducelles 1824 Curling Classic. That year, the par uh, this year, the partner sponsors are Mur Murphy Hospitality Group. They had some excellent oysters last night. I know we both sampled a few yes. from New Brunswick and PEI. Uh, Prince Edward Island Brewing Company, Crombie Reet, Scotia Square, and the Curling Store over in Dartmouth. 
for all your curling I needs. I found out recently that uh, they ship all across Canada and the U.S. Oh, wow, I didn't Sony, know that. And apparently they're quite popular for places that uh, don't don't have access to a curling store. You can get everything that you need for curling in one very small <laughs> but efficient store in Dartmouth. They hold a lot of stuff in that store. Including some t-shirts that uh, feature curling and tacos, which are two of my favorite things. I know, I was looking at those. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but uh, I have had my eye on them. Christmas gift. Yeah, good Christmas <laughs> gifts. They do have lots of good Christmas gifts for all the curling curlers in your <laughs> lives. I think that they played the scoreboard a little bit there as well of thinking, hey, like, if we give up a two here, we're tied, we got the hammer, we're going into five, it just becomes a four-end game, we're going to be okay. They were thinking about some of the draws to try to get that force back into play, but they're both kind of ugly with that one on the left-hand side being out there and in, in the way. And the red rock being the gar uh, the one that you need to come around on the intern side. Yeah, they're both pretty risky. Hitting and needing to stay there. Oh, rolling out, but not out of play. I think that the conservative <laughs> approach uh, may have been to their advantage there. But now playing the, this draw here to come around the pile. And because it's James's last, they're okay with it slipping behind the T-line because that would bring in the force as well. They just need to make sure to be covered in behind all of those guards. Yeah, they need to make sure that they're fully buried here. Yeah, they need to be shot rock, which shouldn't be too difficult with that one just mostly into the eight foot. And so they can come back for catch that big curl. We've seen that big curl over on the side, haven't we? Definitely. Changing our mind. Changing that uh, to that uh, shot that Joel threw. I think that he overthrew it a little bit. Didn't quite have the curl at the end that they were expecting. Yeah. Let's give it a run. Like, I don't want him to, yeah. Looks like it's curling here. Whoa! Needs to come pretty close to those guards. That's pretty close. Getting a chunk of it. Nice shot. Nice sweep at the back here by Paul. Rolling out into the open. You gave me a good read on that. I didn't hear the conversation by the other team. I would assume that they're blanking based off of where he put the broom. I would guess. They must be. And just a nose taking their one in the fourth end. So after four ends, we've got the score of four to three for Team Grand over Team Arsenal here. No updates to report on any of the other sheets. Uh, we have the second fastest one on sheet eight here. And based off the reaction, I would say that they were going for the blank there. I would say so. <laughs> I 
And now with that little little error, I think we're going to see very aggressive play by Team Arsenault of putting up those guards. Got to make sure that they're on the center line. And going to be a policy of if it's red, hit it for Team <laughs> Grattan. If they can hit it, got to wait. But... Uh, Yeah, I don't think they're going to want to keep many uh, many reds in play. Phil, the lead on Team Arsenal, has been playing very well. Nice, nice placement on guards and come arounds. Been basically perfect so far today. Not keeping stats, but just <laughs> my 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 lead instinct. Definitely makes a strong team when your lead can uh, set up the end for you. Yeah, they're never going to win the game, but they can definitely lose one, so you <laughs> might as well have a good one. Slipping just a little bit deep there with Paul's uh, come around. Not in a bad spot, especially if, when you have the hammer. You're definitely probably cutting down the available area, but uh, they're choosing to just come around and freeze right on top of it. Even bumping it just a hair might not be a bad idea. Nice another great shot by Phil. Having a great game today. And as usual, we can hear Martin Crete over on sheet four, <laughs> all three sheets away. Getting very into some of the last shots on that sheet and sheet four on uh, end number four. Sheet four, end number four. That's four. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Not quite where they wanted. Yeah, not, not quite where they wanted. They are sitting two. They do have this uh, freeze to the pocket for second Jesse Mullen to come around. If he nails this freeze, they're going to have quite a hard time removing it. It's going to take multiple stones. Still is early in the end, though. Good sweep. Yeah. How important is that, that having those sweepers? Makes the entire game. And I think uh, Skipper Julian uh, got a little frustration out on that sweep. He's smiling, <laughs> walking back. <laughs> After a little misstep at the end of the last end, getting to just put that mind and energy into getting that rock every single <laughs> millimeter that it will go. <laughs> Playing a little bit of that uh, chip shot. That they did on the previous shot by accident, but this time on purpose. Getting very close to that guard. <sighs> Just a little, a little tick, moving it over. Not the worst thing though, they do have the hammer, so the, that does open up all of those rocks that it, they've been playing around. Yeah, it wasn't the worst miss. I think that they probably would have liked to chunk it even more if they're going. If you're going to hit it, yeah, you might as well move it a little ways. But uh, it makes 
whatever that in gesticulation was <laughs> uh, a little bit easier. Now we're seeing them say, hey, that uh, red one's pretty good by us. We're going to keep putting up these guards. Nice guard. That's pretty much perfect. Hey, like. If we know it, does it go to the hole on the side? No. That's probably okay, though. Yeah. Either that or rip the double peel. Yeah. I like the double peel. I would go for the double peel. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I, I do think you have to play it that you're sending that closer okay, red one that was just thrown back into the pile, but that might not even be a bad thing. No. Of just making sure it's open so that, uh, you know, at least you're going to score the send. Yeah. Yeah, you, you need to get rid of at least one of those guards, preferably both. Close. Well, that was nice not shot. exactly what they called, but... Uh, what they had talked about. <laughs> Opened it up, that's for sure. Heavier than they expected. Yeah. You lose that one, but stay. Quarter. Yep, they're okay with losing those yellow ones at the back. Yeah, they're not really helping them where they are now. And depending upon exactly where this ends up, this could be a triple and be yep. them looking at a blank now. Yep. So they would probably really like being up one, carrying that hammer into the sixth end, Definitely. scoring into evens. I think that's a, probably a recipe for success. Yeah. Sitting two spread out, no guards up. Blanks looking, looking nice. Not quite rolling enough that they would like there. But making it different and difficult for it them to now hit and roll far away to maybe try to get that sneak that two in here. Straight. Straight. 
Shot. Yep, that's just what they needed there. Not bad. What? Going for the double here. Yep, with that weight, I'm going to say it's a double. <laughs> oh. Bit of a mess there on the sweeping call. It looked close to make it. And a quick update uh, from sheet one here. Teams Adam, Adams Moss stole one in the fifth end. And now the score is three to two for Team Leducer over Adams Moss. And again on sheet four, yeah. the fourth That'll end did nice happen. Team. It is done. They're it's actually pretty deep in the fifth, kind of uh, but yeah. no indication as to what this what happened in the fourth. I know someone scored something. I saw uh, enough rocks in play. That's sweet. Yep, that double looks pretty challenging at this stage. Good job splitting the rings there. They're going to try it for sure. <laughs> but it's very steep. Yeah, it's not an easy double. And another update uh, from sheet two, Team Ha drawing for their single in the fourth end. They're up three to one over Team Grandy after four. Called it the hard way, in my opinion. Yeah. But uh, getting close there. And now James just needs to hit paint to get there too. Take some solid control like in this game. Path? You like that path? I did this two ends ago. Four feet more here. And sometimes when you're talking about games, you just end up being <laughs> predicting the future. When they made this draw earlier, I said, that's good practice. And yeah, it's coming it, handy it, now. <laughs> it turned out it's not exactly a draw to the exact pin, but a draw nonetheless for their d second point here. More. Lots. Whoa. Oh, 
Just a little bit heavy. Trying to stick around. Stick. I think that slipped out. I think it went through. Our video feed is a little was a little cut off, but the way everyone's looking. <laughs> By the reactions, I'd say they just got one. And the score goes up very quickly. We thank them for that. So scoring one here in five, Team Grattan uh, up two, five to three over Team Arsenal. Still playing a little conservative here. Of they're up two, coming into the sixth end, just letting the other team play the more aggressive game. Going to draw right to the top of the forefoot. And I was looking at our sheet here, and no one except for Paul has scored an eight ender. And wow. Paul actually stole an eight ender. Wow. I would love to hear more about that. <laughs> you don't hear that every day. Yeah, that's like uh, an albatross in <laughs> golf. It's a, a nice spot. Nice guard to set up the end there. Get yep. to just pop onto the center line okay, so that the other team can't touch it. That looks just enough to me. Yeah, it looks like it's just biting the center. I did learn the other day through experience, unfortunately, that it is the thickness of the line, not the center of the line, that matters. Oh, mm -hmm. I did not know that. I was like, it's not touching the center. <laughs> no, but it was touching the center line, and that was the important part. I think that that might be the first misstep by uh, Phil there. Yeah, he hasn't hasn't made that many mistakes this game. If you're gonna miss there, being light and having another guard in that spot isn't necessarily the worst. Better. They would have liked to put the had another one in the house to to use later. Maybe have it come into play. In this case, light is definitely better than heavy. Pack that one that they already had. Oh, just a little bit. That's a pretty good spot there. 
Not bad at all. Arsenault's got to deal with that. I think we're going to be seeing some more of those types of shots as the game progresses. They need to be putting the pressure on and be making some of those runs, making some of those hits and rolls to try to get at it, try to generate that two spot that they need here. Yeah, that's not how they called it to get there, but still a good spot. The hole is there. I'm not sure what it gives them. Don't know if they could get both of them in that port. Yeah, the, the double through the port's not there, but the hit and roll. Hit and roll's there. Yeah, I like the shot too. Yeah, me too. Getting some snap here at the end. Ooh. Just by, sitting up on top of it. Nice shot. Not where they wanted to end though, but. Yeah, it is as open as being open in a port is. <laughs> yeah. You like this way again? I really like this call. I do too. There's some setup going on, but let's just put another one in. Yeah. Make them deal with it. Exactly. Room. Whoa, whoa, Paul. Got a curl. Okay, whoa. Wait, line's fine. Just clean, just clean. Oh. Stop. Stop other one. What? Stop up. So? How about you go shut for the end? Set the play though. Oh, and an update on sheet four. Finally put up the score. It was a blank, so we weren't missing out on much, but I do see a measure happening over there in the fifth end. Saw an indication that red was closer, but uh, yellow's throwing, so team champ must have scored in the fifth end. We'll see if they put up the score anytime soon. <laughs> Let's see if they can get the, the curl that was out here. The, the big curl coming in that we had uh, in the first couple of ends. Starting to move a bit. It was by that guard by quite a bit. Still needs it's a little heavy. Curled a ton, though. It did curl quite a bit. A foot lighter, and it would have been in a very uh, interesting position. 
Much tighter to this guard. Oh, oh crap. just chipping it a little bit. And I think if we had seen this earlier in the game, that uh, our snow might choose to move back this yellow one, but now. With them being down two and really wanting to score, playing the freeze so they can have red rocks in front of yellow rocks and then move the yellow rock at the very end to maybe score a larger multiple here. Wait's right, the line needs to curl quite a bit here. Yeah, it's, it's out there. Just not finding the curl there. Had the weight. And bumping that yellow one in behind those guards more makes that come around even more challenging if they want to play it again. Yes, it didn't and really help and them. And I think that there's a pocket there to draw too. Or the, the hit and roll that they're looking at. Hit and roll double. Yeah. Top, but it, I don't like. I wouldn't want to leave that. Just, just a hair inside. No. I don't think it's. Do you think it's going to go? I think this side goes a hair. Like no, not backswing. I don't think. Maybe more, right? And they did put the uh, the score up on cheat four. Team champ scoring one and five. Now the score of four to two after five for team. Do you think there with my Asselin. unbackswing or? Ice? Yeah. Do you see it moving? With, with, with my, like, not my backswing feel, but my other feel. Should I, should I hate the hair more or no? Okay, okay. He slashes it, maybe. Yeah, it's probably not horrible. We got the double. I could take that and take the I could throw back to it. Do you like that? Kind of torn. No, I, okay, I could throw this one. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yep. Oh. A little wobble coming out of the head yeah. there. Whoa. It's close. Yeah. Nice shot. Great roll, too. Going right into that pocket between the yellow and the red. Makes it very hard to remove both of them. James is laughing because he, <laughs> he stumbled a little bit at the end there. Still made the shot perfectly. I don't see it much here. I'm not That's I, I that angle run is probably the best to to clear those yellow ones out, but you're trying to set up for having a shot to score at this stage, so clearing those ones on the front I think makes some some sense. But you gotta clear all three. Yeah. <laughs> It's <laughs> not an easy shot. I, yeah, I, I, I do see what they're seeing. Of If they hit this a little low, it'll spin the red one, get back into the pile, and try to remove uh, those yellow ones. <laughs> Jean-Michel seems to be very uh, focused on the angle run. But I think you saved that one for your last one. Yeah. Try to clear the front a little bit out. 
And if it runs in back into the pile, that's even better. A little update on sheet one. Team Leducer takes two in the sixth end to go up five to two over Team Adam Smalas. Play going into the seventh end there. Spins it off, gets the one toward. Uh, I think that's on. Looks like it's on from our angle. Yeah, I think it's on. I don't think it's going to matter, no. but. Uh, uh, Joel did point out that it, even if they leave it open, uh, the double goes back into that red one in the, in the 12 foot on the left hand side there, or the right hand side as we're looking right now. Uh, and so it makes, probably takes the big multiple out. And if they can protect here, they might be even setting up for a steal because uh, the draw on the outturn side. That's got to go that much. I'm not sure if that's, that's there down. because of the red one, the red corner guards. Mm, no. And so you're looking at the the bit less natural on the intern side, squeezing between that uh, that corner guard and trying to get us the side of the button there. Pretty high. Straight, straight. Mine's good though. Curl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Skipper. Oh, straight. Yep, nice guard here. I think that's all that he needed there. Oh, it just sort of spun at the end. I think that that uh, it's not going to change things at all. No. But I actually now like the angle run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with uh, Jean-Michel on that one. Yeah, I think I like it here too. Yeah, I, I, I get what they're getting at uh, with playing the draw. Mm. Or this angle. In, off. Yeah, the redirect. Oh, playing the intern. The the very slim redirect. <laughs> Not looking. That's a big steal too there. You guys play. So uh, with a steal of two there by Team Graden, they take two to go up seven to three after six ends here. Scoring in six, being up a handful. Good place to be. Definitely. Definitely going to be a struggle here for Team Arsenal to to wiggle back into this. Need to get two and steal two, or get three and steal one. Yeah. It's going to be a challenge. Uphill battle there. Though I do believe in one of the earlier draws yesterday we did steal see a steal of five. So I don't think it's going to happen, but <laughs> no. the the possibility could happen. You gotta go. Picking. I got it, Joel. Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> 
he's the young one on the crew of he's half everyone else's age uh, so I think that uh, Joel definitely deserves a break with all the sweeping he's been doing oh yes uh, but he's probably the most capable as well I think we're going to be seeing a little bit of uh, paint by numbers here of, with the strategy. Definitely for the first half of this end. Playing the corner guard, playing it in a bit of an interesting place of that uh, guard thrown by Paul. Overcurled a bit. It did sound like they were saying that it uh, might have picked up something. Overcurled just a touch. Yeah. But now coming around and into the house. Playing that scoreboard, putting another one into the forefoot and saying, if you guys want some points, you got to deal with this one before you get any points. Yeah. Really make them work for it. Mine's getting better. Sliding a bit. Sliding oh, no. a bit. That, I think that's a good place. Now throwing the the opposite corner guard to have options to come around. Yeah. Try to take that play away from the center. They're calling it quite quite far out, almost guarding the 12 foot there. See how that that ends up. Pretty high high guard there. And with the way it's curling there, that corner guard actually comes into play a bit on the shot. If, if he's at all outside, yeah, could tick off of it. I think that's probably why they were playing. It, and trying to get it out in guarding the uh, 12 foot. From my end, it's uh, more guarding the 8 foot there. Yeah, just missed it. Just missed it. Now coming right into the top of the 4 foot again. That's pretty much perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice shot there, Paul. This is one of my favorite shots, the old jiggle. <laughs> Rearrange. I don't like how things are in the house. I don't want to take anything out, but I want them to be different. Uh, Another little update uh, from sheet two. Uh, Team Grandy got their two and five to tie it up after five. They're just starting the sixth end over there. Tie game at three points speeds between Team Grandy and Team Ha. You can watch that one over on the other stream. And I'm hearing above us, the band must be playing some sort of East Coast jig. There's, <laughs> I do feel like someone's gonna come through the roof. Yeah, there's a lot of stomping going on. There is a lot of stomping going on. But that means that everyone's having fun. So that's the most important piece. And uh, if you're in the Halifax area, you can come down and have some fun yourself. We've got food, we've got drinks, we've really got dancing. Good really good food. Can never complain with the food they sell here. Yeah, uh, reviews have been excellent thus far. Great shot by Joel there to clear out the front, get that double peel, get everything out of the middle. Keep it open. Keep it open. 
It's a red rock, get rid of it. It's tough to get the multiples when uh, the guards start going away. Yeah. That was a nice one, though, coming around the corner guard. Are you like? You're up four. You're peeling seems like a good idea. Yeah. My humble opinion. <laughs> I know it's the fourth rock that it's guarding, but as we've seen already today, the, that can change quite quickly. Especially with the weight that Joel can throw. So half, half. Whoa, 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 whoa. Never. You really don't like to hear your skip say never. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he is going. Okay. It is going. <laughs> oh, walk. Save it, save it, save it. No. Just darted it wide. Yeah. Joel with two ends back to back here with uh, just not making contact with anything. That was not easy. No. But also, I'm just not quite sure on the strategy there. I think I would have peeled the corner guard. I would have too. <laughs> Gotten rid of it. Or even just clearing everything out of the forefoot there. Maybe something runs and jams into the one on the back. Yeah. So you can afford to give up two here. Wrapping around. Really nice sweep there. Yeah. Playing the same shot here, just with uh, more weight. And I think that they're just a little bit of an adjustment in the release here. shot a bit of a redemption there for Joel hitting the getting the double on the side and rolling into the pile in the center now three yellow rocks in the forefoot that uh, team Arsenal is going to have to deal with here with only two rocks remaining for both teams I was expecting to see a little bit more weight here. Not a bad result. Uh, Not what they wanted, though. Yeah, just nosing that red one, I think, or even just a wiggle high side. Yeah. Both those uh, red get, ones go. Get both of them out. This will be a back swinger. 
，家里在查。Uh, a little update here on sheet one. They're into the final end there. Team Adams Moss scored one in the seventh end. They're down five to three versus Team Leducer. Having the hammer coming home up too. Good place to be. Another nice lift by James. Nice shot. And all three go. And now because uh, they really need their two, trying to get that skipper's deuce. Going to go or ignore that one in the 12 foot. That's not going to hurt them in the grand scheme of things. Putting this one in the exact right spot, it's going to be a big benefit. That uh, rock ended up being a little, the guard is a little bit high, so probably going to have at least a shot at it from either side. Mm -hmm. But uh, if they can get it over buried and force James to play the far in turn, that might be able to generate the miss that they're looking for to get there too. Actually, don't mind the overcurl here. Oh, from where I'm sitting, it's half open. Uh, I think that they probably wanted to just show them a little bit here. But we haven't seen the side yet, so it's going to be a new approach. I think that this is the best case scenario for Team Arsenal of making James go play this turn. Maybe get the wreck on the guard, maybe runs a little straight. Yeah. Looking pretty close here. From my perspective, he's got the side. Might even get to close to nose. Might stay around. Very nice. nicely done. And I think they're shaking. Yeah. Yep. So we've got a uh, game over there. Electing not to throw their last team our snow to get their one there. So we'd like to thank you for tuning in and joining us for this Stu Cells 1824 Classic at the Halifax Growing Club, brought to you by Steel Subaru, Neon Train, and Stu Cells Realty. Please turn it and tune in again at 8 o'clock Atlantic time, where it will be the quarter finals. Uh, some of the games are being determined as we speak, so uh, don't know exactly who's playing, but uh, keep in the loop. Go over to the other stream, listen to Stu for the Ha Grandy game. Looks like it's a close one. And uh, we'll be back with you at 8 o'clock. Sounds good. Thanks.